Ted Cruz recently announced that he has a new book coming out this coming November. So, you know, you got a long way to wait if you want to read his drivel, but an interesting thing was pointed out on social media in this mock-up cover of Ted Cruz's book, which we're to assume at this point is the actual cover. They use a photo of Ted Cruz from, uh, from last year, or actually 2021, but they've done something interesting with the editing of the photo. They removed the mullet that Ted Cruz had grown during that time period. It wasn't a, a full on mullet, but he was getting there. And now his publisher, conservative publisher, Regnery Publishing said that, yeah, we trimmed it up in the editing process because, you know, we wanted to reflect the way he looks now. In fact, they said, we updated the image to match the Senator's current appearance. Is the routine touching up of a photo for a book cover considered newsworthy? <laughs> you know, I thought the same thing myself. Is this really something I even want to waste my time talking about? Sure. You edited out Ted Cruz's mullet to make him look like he looks today instead of like he looked in in the early months of 2021, because there's no other way humanly possible to get an updated photograph of a man who's on TV constantly, a sitting Senator, uh, constantly just out there in the media on social media. Yeah. There was no other way to get an updated image of Ted Cruz. You had to use a two year old image and then chop his hair off. So he didn't look like such a hideous freak, right? Regnery that that's what you're telling us. You, you couldn't have said, Hey, Ted, do you have a new photo? Um, maybe, maybe go against a white backdrop real quick. Do a couple selfies, some, anything, maybe no, you couldn't, couldn't ask Ted Cruz to take a new picture. Uh, you're publishing his book. You could have said, Hey, Ted, we're going to come down. We're going to do a little pop-up screen behind you. I mean, those are actually not expensive. We've uh, used them all the time over the years and, uh, just take a picture real quick. Nope. Had to Photoshop off the mullet instead, right? That's the smartest route. The only reason I'm even talking about this is one to make fun of Ted Cruz for having to get a digital haircut because of his horrible fashion choices, but most importantly, to talk about what's going to be in this idiotic book. Unwoke, how to defeat cultural Marxism in America is the title of the book, uh, which they say is going to quote, offer a long overdue argument against the woke takeover of education, big business, the media and Hollywood. Cool. So it's a book about nothing. It's a book of hyperbole. It's a book of fake grievances that conservatives have about anything and everything so that Ted Cruz can cash in on the culture wars as we head into the year 2024, which is going to be a presidential election year. And we all know Ted Cruz wants to run for president. That's the real story here, folks, not the digital haircut. It's the fact that Ted Cruz, like so many other Republican politicians is trying to stake his entire career on this so-called attack of wokeness, right? We've got to go after the woke. None of you morons can even define what it means, but sure. Go after the wokeness. After all, that's what they're telling us. Crash the Silicon Valley bank. It went woke. They can't give you any further explanation other than ah, it went woke and it went broke. <laughs> it rhymes. Therefore we're right. We're dealing with the dumbest people on the planet. I mean, okay, maybe that's a bit of a stretch. We're dealing with the dumbest people in America for sure. All these attacks on woke, all these morons who can't even define it when they're put to the test. Like, okay, what does that mean? By the way, a poll came out, uh, published in USA today this week, majority of Americans actually like whatever woke means. Majority of Americans think it means that you're enlightened, that you're open-minded and that you don't want to, you know, offend people if you can avoid it. That's what most people think woke means and they like it. So go ahead and attack it all you want, Ted. Not only are you a little late to the game in doing it and other Republican politicians have a leg up on you there, but a majority of Americans also think you're an idiot for going after woke because they actually like it. But I'm sure his campaign will buy up a ton of these books. It'll instantly be a New York Times bestseller because that's what they do. And all the while people are reading garbage by a man who had to have his mullet photoshopped off his stupid little head. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down. 
Subscribe today.